Hello folks, uh, so I have today I have a question which has been asked many times in classrooms. It is not exactly a topic but it is a concept within a topic within a topic and that often eats up the mind of uh, uh, teenager people like you maybe those who have just passed a class 10 uh, which whose exam is conducted by national boards in many countries and the provincial boards in uh, some other countries or maybe uh, maybe by school itself <coughs> school itself uh, as soon as they come to uh, the first year of a level which you call as AS or, or, or they uh, are in class 11 so this thing is definitely something that uh, eats up their mind so the question says can a body have a positive displacement but negative velocity the first question and then negative displacement but positive velocity so once we deal with this we can deal with this as well so uh, in a lower levels lower levels means class uh, 5 to let us say 19 people are taught this way what they are taught is they are taught that this is speed is equal to speed is equal to distance by time the speed is equal to distance by time and uh, the velocity is equal to velocity is equal to displacement by time displacement by time so by going through these definitions what i can uh, say is yes of course if uh, distance is negative speed is negative if displacement is negative velocity is negative yes that follows but but in class 11 or let us say in a level in the very beginning they are taught that they are taught that i teach them that velocity is not displacement by time it is the rate of displacement rate it is the rate of change of distance see i have used the word rate of change of distance but i did not use the word rate of change of displacement it is because displacement itself is a change so that's why i can either use rate of displacement word or i can use rate of change of displacement as well so both are equally valid well, so, but if I use the word distance, then I must have rate of change of distance. So, when I use the definition, the word rate in the definition, then these things become clear. So, let's do, <coughs> let's do like this. So, let us define them as, let us define them as a rate, which actually had, should be, and then uh, go, go to solve this problem. So, what happens is, let me say I have a camera set up here, a very simple camera simple camera setup here to photograph uh, a body when it is moving away and coming towards the towards it so let us say a body is going from here to here so i have left some space here because i need it for some purpose i often tell students uh, to 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 follow exactly like me in terms of setup if i leave some space leave some space i tell to them tell them because uh, in that space i definitely need to write something and there are some people who are just uh, are trying to conserve space or maybe maybe they are trying to reduce the cost reduce the cost of copies they might uh, uh, spend any amount uh, uh, recharging their mobiles but uh, they want to reduce the cost in copies so what they do is they don't leave any space and when then uh, later on i you know, i write something that i had planned they would be just uh, be frustrated and uh, that often uh, is very entertaining as well i feel very uh, amused at uh, such uh, frustration it's because they did not follow me and they're getting punished for that so in the very first day i would say follow exactly what i say in class especially academic things i would say okay so from here let us say a body moves to this positive x direction so this is a positive x direction and uh, at the time at the end of time t1 the body undergoes a displacement let us say this is x1 so this is x1 and after some time, when the clock hits a T2, when the clock hits a T2, it undergoes a displacement. Displacement, this is, this is, this is X2. X2. So, if I need to calculate V, if I need to calculate V, then V will be easy, equal to, so uh, I need to calculate V within this time frame, within this time frame. So, the time frame is T2 minus T1, T1, and then <coughs> the displacement is x2 minus x1 so now what happens here is here since we have got since x2 is definitely more than x1 more than x1 we should have v equal to positive v equal to positive so here x is x1 is positive x2 is positive x1 positive x2 positive so v will be 
positive. Now, let us say that the body is returning back. The body is, uh, has gone somewhere and it returns back. So when it returns back, let me use this path here. So it is returning back like this. Though I draw arrow like this, it is like this here. And then the displacement will be again. So from here, the displacement is, let us say, <coughs> certain time t here and he, time t here. So within certain time, so again, this displacement is x1 here, x1 here, and this is x2 here. So from here to here, it is x2, x2. So now the initial and the final are different. The initial and the final are different. So we are just calculating the motion from here to here, motion from here to here. So while doing that, displacement is, so x2, x2 equal, it's the same thing as uh, the new displacement, the new initial displacement is same thing as old x2 and the new final displacement is the same thing as x1, the initial one uh, in the previous case. And the time duration is, uh, let us say the time duration is same. I can say that uh, here it takes a time t1. So here the time zone is different, t1 and it's t2 and t2. Time uh, duration is, will be, the, those the, though the value is same, the initial time is a t1. t1 t1 and final is t2, t2 here. Now if I calculate the velocity here, what it will be equal to? V is equal to, V is equal to, the final is x1 and initial is x, x2. Since I am coming from here, x2 will be the initial one, initial one and x1 will be the final one. So it should be equal to x1 minus x2 by the time duration is t2 minus t1. So in time we cannot consider the initial as two, so that is slightly dif different here. So if I do so, what happens is here we have got x1. This x1 is less than x2. So this gives us v is equal to negative. So v is negative. So that means if a body is going away from us, v is positive. Away from us or from the observer, v is positive. And if the body is coming towards the observer, then v will be considered negative. So it's possible. So x1, x2 positive, all the cases it is positive, but V has been positive and negative depending on whether the body was going there or coming here. Now, <clears throat> so this answers this question, this answers this question. So what I must have is if a V needs to be positive, if V needs to be positive, the final displacement should be more than the initial. The final displacement should be more than the initial. If V needs to be negative, then the final displacement should be less than the initial. The final should be displacement should be less than the initial. So it's in case in that case, V will be negative. Now, again, I have got this thing. Can we have negative displacement, but positive velocity? Can you have negative velocity displacement, but positive velocity? Again, it is possible. It is possible because if I consider, if I consider a body here, let us say a body is coming towards the camera like this. A body is coming towards the camera like this, like this. And here the displacement is the initial is. So let us say uh, this is uh, x3, let me say. This is x3, let me say. From here to here, it is x3. And uh, from here to here, it is x4. x4. So it is coming like this, x4, x3. So here it is time t1 and here it is time t2, time t2. So now if I consider the velocity, if I consider the velocity, the v will be is equal to the final is. So coming from here to here. So coming from here to here, the final is x3, final is x3 minus the initial is x4 and it is t2 uh, minus t1, minus t1. So time duration can't be positive or negative, it's always positive. So I have got x3 minus x4. So in this case, what is happening here is, now x3 is, x3 is something, let us say, is equal to something minus two, maybe, minus two. And if I calculate this, it is, let us say, something minus five. Its value is something minus five. See, it is zero, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, and something. So that's why it is minus two and minus five. So this will be, x3 is minus 2 minus then x4 is minus 5 minus 5 and this this is t2 minus t1 and that's equal to 
minus 5 minus 5 plus 5 minus 2 it is 3 so 3 by t2 minus t1 so in this case velocity is positive velocity has come to be positive see it is going in the same direction like this and it is coming to be positive so that means the displacement here is negative both of them are negative negative because this direction is positive and the reverse should be negative but this velocity has come to be positive it's because if this is minus 2 this is minus 5 this is any this is the final final minus initial so minus 2 minus minus 5 becomes somewhat like this again if i follow the same process here if the body goes here definitely it will come to be negative it will come to be negative because this will be the final minus initial so let's say do it the same case here it will be uh, v is equal to minus 5 minus minus 2 by time so this is equal to minus 3 by time minus 3 by time so negative so that's why uh, at the higher levels like this it's not only the secondary level it's the advanced level people often say that so we have to go through every possibilities i always tell students that there is every possibility of events in physics in physics so we can have both of these cases and these things apply to the relation between velocity and acceleration as well positive velocity negative acceleration and negative velocity positive acceleration now this whole phenomenon can be can be expressed in graph as well can be expressed in graphs as well for example for example if i have a graph like this so let us go let us deal with this thing graphically as well because graphs are also very very important tool and uh, i personally feel myself very very satisfying to deal with graphs and whichever institution i am in uh, generally uh, uh, the graphical knowledge part uh, falls to me and my colleagues also often request me sir please uh, please handle the graph properly so that it becomes easier for us they would say so graph is dealt with in mathematics as well as in my portion in physics so let me say i have a graph of a certain displacement time like this this is t o this is s and the graph is like this like this the graph is like this so if i calculate try to calculate the slope the slope so when we have like this the slope is positive i often tell students if your right hand goes up right hand goes up and the left hand goes down then the slope is positive i often say them if the graph is such that right hand goes up and left hand goes down then the slope is positive i would say so here the slope is positive so this is slope is equal to positive positive and that means v is equal to positive and we can see here yes is throughout positive so yes is yes means displacement equal to positive in this type of graph and if i have if i have another graph like this if i have a this sort of graph if I have a this sort of graph, this sort of graph, this is a T, O, yes, and like this. So here, yes is positive. Yes is still positive. This is zero. All the values here are yes positive. So yes equal to positive. Let me use another color here. So yes equal to positive. And the slope is negative. So when your right hand goes down and left hand goes up, then the slope is negative slope is equal to negative which means v equal to negative slope negative so slope of est graph is v slope of displacement time graph is v which we have dealt with in other lectures as well so it becomes negative so yes positive v positive yes positive but v negative so again i am again i have to consider this thing here i have uh, now I have to deal with something where yes is negative. So in this case, what I must do is, <clears throat> okay, if I have this sort of graph, if I have a, this sort of graph, so yes is start from here, from here. This is T and O. What is happening in this case, in this region? So in this region, the value of yes is negative value of yes is negative yes positive yes negative but the slope is positive so here we have got 
yes equal to negative but is slope slope equal to positive that's why v equal to positive in this region similarly if i go here if i extend this graph like this in this region yes in this region so let me make it straight like this here in this case the slope is so here what i have here is yes equal to negative yes is negative then that means the slope is slope is also negative slope is negative that means v also is negative see here s negative v positive but here s negative and v also negative so s positive v negative s positive v positive and so on so there can be so much of criss cross in these cases so that is what we have to remember so i think all of these things have been answered in the question and more than that it has gone beyond that it has gone beyond that so when we uh, talk about graphs graphs definitely graphs reveal a lot graphs reveal a lot and i think it reveals it has gone beyond the questions